This experiment is about uh, preparation of salts. For that today I will be showing you how we can prepare copper sulfate as soluble salts in the lab with the help of utilization method where we will be using acid and base. Copper oxide which is a base but not alkali. So this base is not soluble in water but uh, we'll make it react with acid and for that I've got dilute sulfuric acid. This sulfuric acid would neutralize the base as copper oxide. So let me begin with first with some scoop of copper oxide which is a black color powder. So I'll take some copper oxide in this beaker and then pour some sulfuric acid in it. So as we pour sulfuric acid see that it mixes in it and reacts. I'll use glass straw to stir it. So in this the copper oxide as base has neutralized the acid and due to the color of copper oxide though the solution looks black on filtering it you would see that there is something the salt solution has appeared after this I'll filter it for filtering I have a filter paper here which is which can be turned into a shape of funnel by simply folding it into two halves then into a quarter then just open it and fix it here and before that I will just make it wet so make it properly stick to the funnel here so and now I can filter it so for filtering I'll filter this solution in the tube here the color of the solution is blue and this blue color solution contains copper sulfate in it so like this we can filter the solution and after filtering the solutions we can dry up by heating for heating I've got here Bunsen burner so as I get the solution uh, to dry up here so I will be using this fire gauge over it for drying up. And we use this as you could see the blue color solution uh, is due to the presence of copper sulfate in it which is a blue color salt. And for that I take this into this crucible and keep it over this to dry up. So we heat the solution till the point where water is almost uh, evaporated but not completely evaporated. This we do due to uh, for some water to be trapped as water of crystallization and then we will get the crystals else 
if water is completely evaporated, the, the color of salt would be totally white. And for that, after heat, the salt has turned out into this blue color. Blue color. So these crystals of copper sulfate salt would come out after we leave it for a day when the water at the later stage was allowed to evaporate slowly at the room temperature. So water gets trapped into these crystals as water crystallization and the copper sulfate crystals turn into blue color.